Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Brianna. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, I'm Brianna. Welcome for the first time to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reaction to the new BTS album, Love Yourself Answer, which I am so excited for. Um, I know I haven't talked about them on my channel before, but I have fallen like in love with them in the past couple of months, so I've never been more excited for an album. So, BTS, if you know, you know, I feel like, but they are a humongous Korean pop band or K-pop band, boy band, and this is a repackage of their Love Yourself Her and Love Yourself Tear albums with some of their favorite tracks and some new songs. So I'll be reacting to the new songs because I've heard the old songs before. This is the F version. I don't know what's up first. I love with the poster first. Wow. Also, I didn't mention this before. I moved, uh, look at my hair. <laughs> I moved to Georgia, so things have changed. I'm in grad school now. Is my life together? No. Am I nervous? Yes. <laughs> so it has a sticker card. Here are the notes, but I do not speak Korean, so I'll wait for a translation on this. <laughs> um, and I don't know which photo card I got, so what's the T? I don't know, where is it? Oh, here it is, it's in the middle. Oh, there's two. Oh, that's not two photo cards, but I got J-Hope. This is so cute. Kind of all over the place today. Hope I'm making sense. Sorry if I'm not. What is that? Oh, that's my TV. I literally didn't know what it was. I have not unpacked. That's why there's nothing on the walls. Um, but yeah, let's not talk about it. Can I just say, sorry if this video is long already. I'm so sorry. Getting into the listening part, starting with Euphoria. It's just one of those songs for me that I really love and appreciate. <gasps> this is already different. Oh yes. I love this song so much. It's like I'm just reading. Okay, so that song decided to just go all the way off. Um, I think this album is gonna go all the way off. Um, I love his voice so much, and I love that this song gives me a lot of like Troy Sivan vibes, so it's perfect. I felt all of that. The next song is Trivia Just Dance, and I know that the trivias are solos from the rap line, so I but I don't know. Oh, I guess this is J Hope, and it has hiss noises. I'm just literally reading the <laughs> this stuff from the album. <laughs> this song it, it makes me want to just dance. Ooh. Dance. <laughs> so I'm just gonna read the English translation really fast. That song's just fun. It's so J-Hope. Women's voice just... It's like butter, honestly. <laughs> I'm so ugly. <laughs> Say, I've heard the version that's on her, but I have not heard the full length. That's why we're playing it. Ooh. They hit one drum. I was like, <laughs> so I'm just wondering. A couple of things could have happened. What I think happened is that they always had this version and then they, they knew that, that, that they knew. And then they were like, no, let's keep the full length. Let's keep that that little breakdown for ourselves <laughs> for, for like a year. We love her. We love her with our whole heart. Me, <laughs> like while I'm holding this book. We love her. Next song. We have a horns arrangement. Let's go all the way off, sir. <laughs> I 
love that. I love the horns and the keyboard. It feels very like Chance the Rapper coloring book era. Like uh, the lyrics are so freaking cute. Almost like a simple line, but it just sounds so good. I live so I love. And the last, uh, is it a refrain? I don't know. <laughs> it's you're my person, my person, my person. You're my wind, you're my pride, you are my love, one love. Cute. These lyrics feel very like a Natasha Bedingfield, like John Legend thing. And I don't know if that makes sense or what I'm saying. <laughs> so let's move on. Honestly, on Twitter, I've heard a lot of good things about this song. And Yoongi is one of my biases. So let's just, let's just get the fuck into it. <laughs> I wish I could explain the way that it makes me feel when this man whispers his name in front of his verse. We love a singer. The background vocals? Oh, Adora. I love her. I love that. I love that a lot. The groove. I love that he's like singing at parts and it's just, I'm not gonna say favorites yet, but she's up there. I'm so excited for tour. I pray that they play them all. If you're going to a Love Yourself show, let me know. I'm going to the City Field show for sure. Maybe more. Definitely not less, but <laughs> City Field for now. <laughs> so I'm so excited to see these songs live. Uh, right now I'm like, Seesaw Live, I deserve it. <laughs> so the next song is Epiphany, which was their comeback trailer. Jin has such like a beautiful voice, um, and this song's a cute girl, so. <laughs> Obviously it's something that we wouldn't know as viewers of the comeback trailer but like that was the the full version was ready so now i'm double thinking about like serendipity like they probably had the full song the whole time they're mine okay i want this song live so bad like i just ah, it's gonna be so pretty the fact that it just this like self-actualization and obviously i haven't gotten to answer love myself yet but i'm assuming that's Kind of the vibe of that song too um and i just mm, i just feel it right in my heart okay <laughs> i don't know what else to say the vibe that i'm getting from the song and from the lyrics is that it's like a like a continuation of save me when the in save me they were like i need your love before i fall and now it's kind of like i don't need you to save me i'm fine i'm gonna get through this whatever this maybe i'm gonna get through it so next song is idol which is the single or title track i'm very excited i've watched the trailer for the music video i haven't watched the music video yet what i gathered we got some some african beats a tiger um also their outfits just love when they wear sneakers with the like traditional korean outfits it just feels so like Oh, like, yes, do that. And I know there's a Nicki Minaj version, but this is the version without Nicki Minaj. So let's listen to it. <laughs> I love that it says, I do what I do, so mind your own business. <laughs> love it. I'm very excited to see their choreo for that, uh, because it goes off. Uh, that's a song to the haters. <laughs> Idol and Dang are just like sitting at the lunch table together. So the last song I'm going to be reacting to is Answer Love Myself, which I love that it's different than like outro love myself. Like I like that it's answer, colon, love myself, but that's just a little thing. After winter, spring comes again. We love spring day. Okay. I love their lyrics. Um, I like that this whole kind of era of love yourself it doesn't end with now i love myself and i'm done and it's perfect and it's easy i like that it's like i'm learning how to love myself like we're here at the end but it's like i'm learning how to love myself it's not like i learned so i love myself every day at every moment period like it's not that easy and everyone knows that that's all <laughs> 
kind of <laughs> made me tear up a little bit, but <laughs> we won't get into it. The parts that I liked the most were, or the lyrics, um, the me of yesterday, the me of today, the me of tomorrow, I'm learning now to love myself, every last one of them. <sighs> that is so freaking cute! <laughs> and I also really loved, I guess it's the bridge, where they say every scar I made was my zodiac sign. I hope that that translates this, like, perfect, like, really closely. That's so pretty because it's like, I feel like I'm like doing an inspirational talk, you know? But it's just like the things that you go through matter and they make you who you are and your scars and the things that make you not perfect, not so perfect, but so beautiful. Like it's for a reason and I just, thank you BTS. I love them. I feel like I, found them when I needed them and I'm a little bit emo so I'm gonna try and end the video here. <laughs> um, the rest of the songs are from previous albums. Uh, Magic Shop, Best of Me, Airplane Part 2, Go Go, and Pan Man, Mic Drop, DNA which is a remix but I'm not gonna react to it. Um, Fake Love, Rock and Vibe Mix which I don't like and I don't get it. It <laughs> sounds like Nickelback. And then the Mic Drop C. Bayoki remix, which is my favorite version. So I'm excited about that. That song was a very good last song and it just like stayed with me. So I'm still a little bit emo. <laughs> I feel like that song plays like at the end of a Disney movie, like during the ending scene and then it pauses and then plays again during the credits. One of those songs, um, like we're all in this together. <laughs> So that is all for me. Sorry this video was super long, but I have feelings. My favorite songs after first listen are Answer Love Myself because I'm still thinking about it. Seesaw, the trivia Seesaw, uh, the full version of Epiphany, also Euphoria. I just gotta shout her out. If you have not checked out BTS or checked out this album, do so. You literally can't even see it. I'm like holding it up, but it's just a holographic square uh leave your thoughts on the album down below because i want to know um you could talk to me on twitter or instagram or in the comments and that's all um as far as my channel goes uh did make a warp tour video so hopefully that goes up at some point <laughs> um but that's all thanks for watching guys thank you so much okay i'll see you next time bye